Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore how they determined the magnetic field caused by one electron orbiting the nucleus in the hydrogen atom. We can do that by taking advantage of the knowledge now of that fine structure. We now realize that in the 2p orbital, there's actually a slight differentiation in the energy levels depending upon if the electron is spin up or spin down, because there's an interaction between the spin and the magnetic field caused by the orbital motion of the electron. So what they were able to do is realize that there is a double line, if this was, if the line that we normally see from the transition from the second level down to the first level, which of course is in the ultraviolet radiation band at 121.6 nanometers, that's for an energy difference of 10.2 electron volts, they were able to see that very fine structure, the separation of those two lines very closely together, by calculating the energy of each of the two lines, they're able to calculate the energy difference to be 4.5 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volts. So that was derived from exploring the doublet and calculating the energy of each of the two closely spaced lines. Then they also knew that the energy is caused, caused by the interaction is, is caused by what we call the Bohr magneton multiplied by the magnetic field. Since we knew the energy difference between the two levels, and we can calculate the Bohr magneton, which is equal to the charge multiplied by Planck's constant divided by 2 pi, divided by 2, divided by the mass of the electron, it ended up being this number here, 5.79 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volt per Tesla. So all we had to do then is calculate the magnetic field by taking the energy difference divided by the Bohr magneton, divided by 2, of course, we have to divide by 2 because we have the two difference in the energy from the normal level if there was no splitting. And then when we calculate that, it ended up to be 0.39 Teslas. That's actually a fairly powerful magnetic field. That's probably in the order of 10,000 times the magnetic field of the Earth. So you can see that's something that's quite significant, caused by one single electron orbiting along the nucleus. And because of that, we have a very strong interaction between the spin direction and the magnetic field caused by the orbital motion, which then is enough to be able to separate the energy levels between the electron jumps in the 2p orbital. Matter of fact, this would be the second energy level. This is called the doublet p3 halves and the doublet p1 half to differentiate the two energy levels in the p orbital caused by this interaction. And that's how we figured out the magnetic field caused by the orbital motion of an electron. 